Hi, I'm Nathan Feuerberg, writer and creator of Flies in the Jar. If you enjoy the show, it would be great if you could go over to iTunes or Podchasers and leave a review. Or, even better, just tell a friend. Flies in the Jar is a serialized radio drama. If this is your first time listening, it's advisable that you begin with episode one. Previously on Flies in the Jar. It wasn't the first time that I felt this way. After, you know, trying to jumpstart my career 10 times, trying out countless hobbies, I realized I really don't have a purpose. I want my money! If Charlie didn't give the money to you, then where did it go? You know how you were asking if there was a surgery that could help me? There is one they've been talking about. It's only for people like me who lost their sight after they were born. They basically inject bone marrow into your optic nerve. I do not think this is a good idea. We'll just be there for 24 hours. I gotta warn Sanchez. He wants to meet you. What? Really? That's great. Yeah. Bring your blind girlfriend to this address tonight. And now, an all-new episode of Flies in the Jar. Flies in the Jar is based on true events. Monsieur, un spectateur. So, you're the one who got Elsa deported. I guess I should be thanking you. If she hadn't have been sent back to Sweden, I never would have met her. Cut the crap, Charles. I want to get paid. And I want it done now. Just wire her the money so we can be done with this. I can't have my name in the tabloids again. Have you ever read any of the contracts you signed? Of course not. That's why I have you. Well, if you had, you'd know that I'm the registered co-author of our songs, not her. But that's not true. Who hired the band for you? Who got a record label to listen? Who got your music on the top of the charts? And I appreciate the work you've done, but... Those songs are more mine than they ever were yours. I have tapes of original arrangements. I can prove I wrote those songs. Dust off your tapes and bring them to court. I'm sure they'll do great against my team of lawyers and our copyrighted album. Le steak tartare! Take it away. I've lost my appetite. Those songs aren't yours. How can you pretend they are? (laughs) It was great meeting with you. I hope you ladies have a wonderful evening. Don't worry. We're going to get your money. You know what? I'm starting to think that that is never going to happen. I'll get on the stand. I'll tell them you wrote the songs. But then, you'd be admitting that you and Charles over there stole my music. Flies in the Jar. Starring Lady Zen, John Jeffers, Kent Evans, and Clara Dunham. Acting consultant, Martin James Grappengetter. Sound mastering by Joshua Holloway. Produced by Lady Zen. Written and created by Nathan Feuerberg. I mean, I guess when I think back, there's one date that I'll never forget. August 30th, 1997. 
yeah, that's the date when everything went went down. And I mean, the crazy part is Melody didn't even want the surgery on her eyes. I mean, of course she had thought about what it would be like to see, but it was me who pushed her. I just thought that if if I could fix everything around me, then I would somehow become less broken. <clears throat> Monsieur, we are closing. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go somewhere else. Can I telephone a taxi for you? No, I'll find my own way. I can smell the whiskey on you. A friend of mine was having a bad day. I figured the meetings wouldn't stick. Well, I didn't bring you down here to talk about this. Acting like nothing's going on with you is just lying to yourself. Just listen for a second, okay? I found someone who can help you, a doctor who can inject your eyes with bone marrow. That treatment's still being tested. Well, they've already done it on like nine people. And, like, six of them got their vision back. What kind of doctor is this? I mean, you know what I'm getting at. I'm not doing some back alley surgery. Well, look. I set up the meeting for tonight. You know, we can just go and, like, check out their facility, and if it's not the stuff, we'll just... This isn't how I do things. And look, don't you want to see again? I wish you could just look out across the ocean right now. I mean, the sunset is magnificent. I can feel it. The warmth on my cheeks mixed with a cool breeze. But if we do this, you'll be able to see it too. I have another. Ain't no answers at the bottom of a bottle. That's cute. Fill her up. After this one, you're going home. Have you seen Sanchez? Not since this morning. Do you say where he's going? Where he's at ain't none of my business. This doesn't sound good. We should leave without him. Nah, no way. It's too dangerous from this day. Whiskey? <sighs> Can I get a couple of yinglings? I really messed, I just messed up bad this time. What's she talking about? He's so in love with that, <laughs> that blind girl. When he asked me to help him, I just, I couldn't say no. What? Come again? I put him in contact with a very dangerous guy, a man named Phoenix. Are you smuggling for Phoenix? Zen, you best keep your business to yourself. None of us needs to be getting in trouble. Wait, what? You know him? He is the man I used to work for. Zen, you gotta tell me where he went. Tell me the address. You should not meet with him. He is very dangerous. Don't you guys get it? This guy's responsible for starting all the fires. He lit my bed up, scorched the blood bank, and blew up Mia's car. This is my chance to stop him. I can go down there, take him out, and we'll never have to worry about him coming this way to get any of us. Fine. You want to try and handle this? They're meeting down at the warehouse on Dock 9. What? Why would you tell him that? He is going to get himself killed. Just wait here. No, we should stay with the plan. We should run to Mexico tonight. And spend the rest of our lives hiding? I don't think so. Thank you. 
can I get a ticket for the tower? Un billet? Yeah. Ah ben on ferme dans 15 minutes. Thank you. Nice night, huh? Yeah, sure is. I come up here once in a while just to look out and remind myself if the world hasn't completely fallen to pieces. <laughs> I look that bad, huh? Ah, you just look like you need somebody to talk to. Uh, I suppose so. I thought getting away from the stage would make me feel better, but being here just made me lonely, I guess. What's on your mind? Oh, man, I've been feeling guilty for about 20 years. Every day I hear the same words in my mind. I killed a man. That's, uh, that's not something you hear every day. Yeah, well, I killed someone and I kept it a secret. You know, most people confess to crimes, uh, right before they're about to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, even in the end, I come across as cliche, huh? Well, when I'm feeling down, I go somewhere quiet, pray. Oh, man, you're one of those, huh? <laughs> I'm not a religious fanatic, if that's what you're thinking. I simply talk to the universe. Hmm. I breathe in through the top of my head. And then I exhale. <sighs> Pushing it out through the center of my chest. Yeah, well, I suppose that's a nice way to see the world, but I'm just not ready to forgive myself. Hey, what are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. Stop! You can't jump! I think this is it. Hey, you sure you want to do this? We're about to meet with an organ trafficker and probably a disbanded surgeon. What do you think? <sighs> okay. Hello? Is anybody there? You must be Melody and Sanchez. Hey, thanks for meeting with us, man. I really appreciate it. Let me give you a tour of our facility. To your left, we have all the bioengineering equipment necessary to perform the cornea injections. To your right is our recovery area where you will spend the next week after the surgery. Uh, before we get into all of that, I need to ask you for a favor. That sounds like the type of thing friends do for each other. Okay, so it's about the ten grand. We were hoping maybe we could do like a payment plan or something. Do you believe what we are doing here is beneficial to people? Yeah, you give people their lives back. Do you believe we should be doing everything we can to help those in need? Absolutely. Do you like to pay off the debt by working for me? Yeah, sure, that would make it easy. Sanchez, he's asking you to do something illegal. I'm asking him to help other people like you. 
You disclosed our location to someone. Oh, man, why would I do that? Mia's little plaything finally found us. You think that's funny? Hey, what are you doing, man? Put the gun down. Sanchez, what's going on? This guy's the source of all of our problems. I'm about to take him out. Hey, you can, man. He's gonna give Melody her vision back. I ain't gonna spend my life running from you. This ends now. Hey, stop, man. Stop it. S stop it. Jimmy! Sanchez, what happened? Oh, Jimmy, come on, man. Come on, Jimmy. Is he... Oh, dude. Is he dead? Come on, don't be dead, Jimmy. Don't be dead. Jimmy. What did you do? Jimmy, man. Come on, this isn't how it's supposed to end. Lies in the Jar includes acting by John Jeffers, Kent Evans, Clara Dunham, Martin James Grappengetter, Lady Zen, Maya Jaye, Jocelyn Sunrise, David Dykes, Joshua Holloway, Solomon Rogberg, Bea Aronson, and Nathan Feuerberg. Sound mastering by Joshua Holloway, produced by Lady Zen, written and created by Nathan Feuerberg. Flies in the Jar is made possible by a team of voice actors and sound designers who have volunteered their time. You can listen to us on podcast platforms such as Spotify, iTunes, SMA Podcast, Radio Tulum, Stitchers, and YouTube. If you'd like to support the show and get early access to episodes, go to deepdrag.com and join our Patreon.